Welcome back guys to another video and in today's video I'll be showing you on how to downgrade your A7 devices to iOS 10.3.3 OTA. Let's get started. So this is the GitHub page which I will leave in the description of this video. You would scroll down. Lead down is a graphic user interface macOS app designed to downgrade compatible A6 and A7 devices to OTA signed firmwares. OTA means over the air. As iOS 7 cannot be directly be updated to iOS 12. So it needs a middleman which would be iOS 10.3.3, the latest version of iOS 10. Here, this is the compatibility list. These are for the A5 or A6. We are currently on the iOS 10.3.3 downgrade. So the supported devices are the iPhone 5S, iPad Mini 2, except for the J87AP, which is also known as the 4.3, as it's shipped with a later of iOS, later version of iOS, and the iPad Air, which I have here ready to downgrade. Compatibility you do need for Intel Max, Mac OS 10.13 or later. And for um, ARM Max, such as the M1, M2, M3 Max, you need Rosetta 2 with Mac OS Big Sur 11.0 or later. Let's get started. Here, find the latest notarized release recommended. Click that. And I'll bring you to a GitHub page. Click version 2.2. .2. Here, you just click the lead down 2.2 revision A DMG which was released February 14, 2022 um, around more than two years ago. After you download it, you will be able to install it like a standard application. To get the IPSWs, there's two methods. You can download it using lead down or download it on IPSW.me or not, uh, IPSW dot, IPSW dot me, yep, IPSW downloads. Then find your device, it could be an iPhone or iPad. I'm using an iPad. So you find the files, I'll be scrolling down. Here, let me hunt for my iPad Air, it is a cellular version. And here, it's 10.3.3, .3. only 10.3.3. .3. You cannot install any other version of iOS 10 or any other versions of iOS. 10.3.3 .3 is the only supported version for this downgrade. Here, click download and click this. Fortunately, it seems like it only has 176 bytes, so instead you should search iOS 10.3.3, 10.3.3, hit enter, there you go, 10.3.3, as you can see, so then you will install, or not install, you will download the update, which if you scroll down enough, you'll find a Redmond Pi. Um, there you go, how to downgrade iOS 10. Alright, here you go, beautiful. Here, um, that's 10.3.2. Um, seems to be that I'm on the wrong page. Alright, let's hunt, um, no, iOS 10.3.3 .3 IPSW, sorry about that. IPSW. There you go, the IPSW. From Redman Pi. This is the full 2.44 gigabytes. Unfortunately, it does not have the iPad Air, which is the device I'm downgrading. So that's why I am. That's why I have a saved blob. Um, not saved blob. I have a saved IPSW. But if you're downgrading, like example, an iPad Mini second gen, which is what I did first to confirm that this actually works. Here you go, iPad Mini 2nd generation, Wi-Fi and cellular, Mini 2, you just click it and it install or download a full version, 2.44 gigabytes. This, these IPSWs for iPads can be used on these iPads because they basically share the same IPSW, so you're going to be alright. So that's what I did. Alright, after we get the IPSW and application, you go and get the application, lead down, after you install it. 
this is what it will look like. Waiting for a device in DFU mode. iPad Air Sailor with ECID and then that is connected in wrong mode. Please place in DFU mode to proceed. Click need help DFU. And here you go. Follow the steps on screen. So I will click this to just show you, but I'll be doing it. All right, so you will have to hold the home button and power button at the same time for around 10 seconds. As you can see, hold for four seconds. The next step, you release the power button and keep holding the home button for 10 seconds. And when it enters DFD mode, a final window or iTunes window should pop up and you click back into here and you select the IPSW, which I will do very shortly. All right, you don't need to be shut down. You can be on the lock screen. Do the same steps as I have told you. Hold for 10 seconds with power button and home button. Hold for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you release your um, power button and you continue holding your home button. And I have just did a reboot instead, as you can see, as I didn't count. Let me count. That'll be easier for me as... I cannot keep track unless I keep doing it multiple times. So let's do it. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When in DFE mode, you should see iPad. That's the iPad, the iPad Air in DFE mode, and this is my iPad mini, which I have downgraded. Clicking this, it should say DFU, though my finder is not loading for some unknown reason. Let's close out of this. Here, you will see lead down, and you have also seen that the window has turned green, meaning it's in DFU mode. Here you go, it's beautiful, iPad Air Sailor Air supported. Tells you everything. This is the iPad Air first generation, A7 devices only. Forgot to mention, this is an untethered downgrade. Let's get into it. Destination firmware is 10.3.3, which is correct. Select the 10.3.3. You can download an IPSW. It will download for you, or you can browse for an IPSW, and it will get the IPSW. So download. Here it is. Make sure it's 2.44 gigabytes for the iPad. For the iPhones, I'm not sure. Click open and verify IPSW, which is completely normal. Checking MD5 of the IPSW is completely normal. After this, it should say extracting the IPSW. Please wait. And by then, we should wait for around 10 to 15 seconds. Actually, that was faster than I expected. Successfully extracted the IPSW. Click downgrade. Like, okay, this will erase all the data on the device, the iDevice. So if you have any important data, make sure to back it up. Note that newer versions, newer versions of iOS later than 10.3.3 may not be installed onto the device, the backups, as Apple would just save for you to update your iDevice. Click OK. Sorry for that cut as my um, device decided to kick itself out of recording. So as you can see, backup blobs. Me, the, the blobs are when Apple allows your device to install because to install the firmware, the iOS or iPad OS, it needs to contact the server and the server has to allow it because it's signed. If it's unsigned, you can't install it. So if it's unsigned in the future, you can use this blob to downgrade your way back to 10.3.3 in case of a accidental upgrade. As I have already saved it, I will skip this step. Fetching for Apple Silicon, you may need to disconnect, but from my experience, you do not need to disconnect. I am using an Intel Mac and your um, experience may vary. As you can see, it's sending the items. Fast can cool down, re-plug now if needed on Apple Silicon. Give it a while. I'm using an Intel MacBook and starting restore, um, restore process, fail to restore device. This is completely normal as the tool is incredibly unreliable. Let me reopen lead down. 
And there you go, place your device back into DFU mode. You already know how, I'll set the device down and I'll follow on screen steps. After it has completed, as you can see, standard things. Now I gotta reselect my IPSW. Let's click browse for an IPSW. Find your IPSW. All right, click open, checking IPSW, all standard procedures, and let's give it a while. All right, it should be doing the same things as in this video. If it does fail, it is completely normal. You do not have to worry. From my experience, it took me an hour. All right, let's click downgrade. Click OK. Exploiting device. It should go into Pwn DFU and should restore. If it does this, it just kicked itself out. So exploit failed. Please re-enter DFU mode to try again. So I do have to enter DFU mode again. This is completely normal. So let's re-enter DFU mode again. All right. All right. We're back. So after that um, DFU session, let's click downgrade. Warning. Yep. Do everything as per normal. Exploiting device. Give it a while. Please re-enter DFU. It's still in DFU, so you wouldn't have to. Click downgrade. Click OK again. Exploiting device. And it just kicked out. It kicked itself out of DFU. From my experience, you do need to restore the iDevice, which I will do right now. After connecting to the network, it will say it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. This will basically send to Apple servers to activate the iPad. And since this is OTA signed, it will activate. Let's enable enter a password. I may not like to. Ask this for my collection. Continue. Beautiful. This is an iPad Air. Let's set up as a new iPad. Here, to not enter an Apple ID. Select don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. To go to the very bottom and click set up later in settings. Click don't use. And there you go. It will bypass it. Here are the terms and conditions. I will agree to that. iPad, don't share. And get started. As you can see, immediately it has a new background as this is running iOS 10.3.3. .3. As you can see, this is running I iOS or iPadOS 10.3.3.14G60, the latest version. That's all for today's video. See you guys for the next video. Peace out.